A Chicago native and former Trump campaign advisor pleads guilty to the first charges in the Mueller investigation. So just who is George Papadopoulos and what did he lie to the FBI about? Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. It has been a fast-moving day of developments in this probe. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and his former business associate Rick Gates both pleading not guilty to a 12-count federal indictment alleging financial crimes, conspiracy, and other charges. And we're learning more about George Papadopoulos, the former Trump advisor who admitted lying to the FBI about ties to Russia. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker has more on his connections to Chicago. George Papadopoulos, a 2005 graduate of Niles West High School, a 2009 graduate of DePaul University, a member of the Foreign Policy Committee for the Trump campaign, who has pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI for his contacts with Russian officials. I'm so surprised to see the headlines today. I'm like, what? John Bean lives across the street from the house in Chicago's Lincoln Square that neighbors say Papadopoulos shares with his mother, but that's about all they know. I don't see. I guess it's George much. I see him once in a while carrying things from the car you know, into the house. That's about it. The charges against Papadopoulos are spelled out in this 13-page government statement that details numerous interactions with the Russian professor who claimed to have dirt on then-candidate Clinton and a female Russian national who once emailed, as mentioned, we are all very excited about the possibility of a good relationship with Mr. Trump. The White House downplayed Papadopoulos' interactions with the Trump campaign. He was uh, a volunteer on the campaign and a volunteer member of an advisory council that met one time. Obviously, they have to minimize his participation. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller says the most significant part of Papadopoulos' arrest is the last page, last sentence, that Papadopoulos met with the government on numerous occasions. He's an FBI mole. He's a snitch. So the message to others under investigation? You better come see us, and you better tell us the truth, and you better do it soon. Papadopoulos has a Chicago attorney, but the lawyer says in the best interest of his client, he is not commenting. Erica, Ron. Okay, Dorothy, thank you.